All right, it's Monday, so what does that mean? It's class time. act. Class act. Let's go to Jasmine Beal right now. Join us live to show us around Linwood High, the home of the Knights. Jazz, take it away. Hi, you guys. Good morning. I'm going to help wake you up because, yes, it is class act. We are here at Linwood High School. You said it, home of the Knights. So glad to be here. Team Knights, take it away. We are Linwood. Ready? We are so happy to be here and we have much coming up. Welcome to Linwood High. Yes, we're super excited to show you all of our amazing programs, such as our band, our bio med, our award-winning culinary. Can't wait till you guys come back and show you all that. All right, we're gonna have the band coming up soon. I'll send it back to you for now. Thank you, Knights. It's time now for Class Act, where we feature SoCal schools and what makes them unique. Yes, today we're going to Linwood High School, where academic success is a top priority. Let's go to KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal. She's there live to show us yeah, all around. Jasmine, where are you at right now? I should not talk to you. Hi, good morning, you guys. So, yeah, here on the campus of Linwood High, we are inside of their biomedical science classroom. This is their teacher, Dina Smith. What an awesome class. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Can I go ahead and show yeah, you around? Show us around. And yes. these students, they start this program when? Uh, they start in the beginning of eighth grade, okay. and then they move on into ninth grade. Mm -hmm. You'll find some seniors here, and they are going to graduate. This year is our first year. We are doing patient care technician. And um, they also participate in Skills USA during our competitions. And here you find some suturing, administering medications. Uh, we have some sophomores, some seniors, juniors. Here we're learning how to weigh the baby and measure it. And over here we have some injections. Wow. I mean, this is real world experience. I love how diverse the careers are. Absolutely. And we're going to talk to some of the students. Yes. Yes. So let me, let me start with Eve. Eve, what do you want to do after high school with this training? Um, with this training, I'm hoping to get into the medical field. I want to be a dermatologist. Dermatologist, and you're you're administering some of the pills here, getting that hands-on experience. Yes, yes. Uh, and Dina introduced me to some of the other students. Look at Dave, David. You want to be what? This is so impressive. So not in the the human realm. Where do you want to go? I want to go into the animal field, uh, specifically the zoological veterinarian. Yeah, and and you decided this just taking the class. Yes. Decided what what you had that passion for. Yeah. Awesome. It really That's helped me develop my my love for animals. I love that. And we have Chris over here working on uh, also administering what, some IVs? And, and you want to go, you thought you wanted to be a medical examiner, but then what? Then after an internship that I got through this program at Kaiser Permanente, I realized that I really like that patient care interaction. So now I want to be a nurse practitioner. You're getting the, the experience right here. Yes. <laughs> you say you don't get queasy over any of this kind of stuff. No. <laughs> it's a good yeah. thing. I'm so impressed. Sari, how are you? Good, and how are you? Good. And tell us uh, what you see yourself doing. Um, I'm really interested in being a radiologist. And I just love the fact that this uh, program brings many opportunities, especially during the summer. And it keeps you, like, busy throughout, like, your summer. And it's very interesting, actually. And did this grow out of this classroom, your radiologist, uh, how you want to pursue that career? Or did you just, after taking this class, come to that? Um, actually, while I was in here, I was, like, really interested in, like, uh, like the anatomy in the body, wow. um, you know, like, hands-on. We're yep. really, really, really hands-on, and we get to do many activities. Our, our teacher, oh, my, I love her. <laughs> She's amazing, love, Dina. Yes, she well, and you, look, this is testament on the wall, all the flags, Dina. I mean, how, how you've gotten these students to the state national championships. Yes, we started back in 2011, and I'm proud to say we have been to nationals every Ooh. single year since 2011. Yep. 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 And, and Eve, actually, yep. her family members, some of these uh, banners belong wow. to them. David Fa and Eve It's a family meeting. affair. Really quick, I know we have to send it back to you. I want to give a shout-out to the principal. Um, you went to this high school. Uh, that's pretty impressive, and now you're back leading the charge. Yes, um, I graduated from this site many years ago, and we didn't have opportunities right. like this. So I'm so excited to be able to have these opportunities for our students and that they take advantage and then um, apply it in the real world. 
And they definitely are. We have so much to show you. We have the band. We want to hear from the band again. Uh, we're going to go see the dance team, the new culinary arts building. I can't wait to show you that. Very impressive. For now, we'll send it back to you from the campus of Linwood High. Well, Jasmine, Thank we you. have such a health care crisis Absolutely. and caregiver crisis in this away. country. So, I'm so happy to see these students these are the future. pursuing yep. this. Yes, Jasmine, thank you. They are. All right, strike off the band for this morning's <laughs> edition of Class Acts. The Linwood High School Knights get into the school spirit with academic sports and music. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal is there. And boy, <laughs> this just gets you pumped up on a Monday. Doesn't it? Hey, this is the Linwood High School Marching Band, everyone. They are fantastic. I love that. We are with their teacher, Michael Cervantes. We have the color guard. We have the cheer team dancing away. Michael, I, you just started uh, really focusing in on this program last year. Huh? Uh, I started last year in mid mid September, so I came in like, oh no, what do I do? So um, this is my first year, first full year here. And uh, I just been really trying to make sure that we can put Linwood back on the map. Get them back into competitions. Yeah, so uh, this will be our first year in two years competing in the CSBC circuit. And we're really excited to be back on the field. That's awesome. 70 members here yeah, in the band mm -hmm. uh, training and practicing hours every single week. Yordi, you are the drum major. Drum Did I get major. that right? But that does not mean you play the drums, you play the trumpet. Tell I me what else you do. <laughs> So aside from that, I conduct, I lead the band here. Um, we have another example of another drum major out here, as you saw. Um, it's really great. I lead most majority of this program. Uh, it takes a lot of like effort to do this. I think it's really fun, though. I believe that like as the position I stand in, it's my, my duty to push these guys to the best they can be. I love it, and the passion that you have. Best of luck in the competitions, too, Yordi. I want to show off the color guard. They're telling me how difficult it is to do some of these flips and the coordination, they also put in hours of practice every single day with and without the band. The captain here, Jocelyn, nice job. And, and you said you did this because of your mom. Yeah, <laughs> she wanted to do this in high school, but she never got the chance to audition, so I did it. Yeah. And then you only started, you said, uh, two years ago. Um, yeah, last semester, first, second semester of my junior year. All right, Jocelyn, thanks so much. We'll show off some more of your skills and your hard work. And, of course, the cheer team over here. Nice job, you guys. This has been so fun seeing Home of the Knights here, this campus here at Linwood. Uh, and as you said, you perform at the football games. Yeah. Um, how has the season been so far? Uh, so far, we're, we're doing pretty well. And uh, we have a good relationship and collaboration with the football team, the basketball team. Uh, we like to really support our, our sports and all our all our athletes. Yeah, so. and I know this uh, this is a temporary campus. You're moving to a new home in two years. Yeah. You're looking forward to that, I'm sure. But this campus supports, even though it's temporary, what, 1,700 students? About, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, you know, we go to the other school for football games, and, you know, we kind of yeah. see, and having seen kind of the plans, Man, it's going to be ready. amazing once it's yeah. Once it's ready, it's it's going to be great. Awesome. Okay, we we have yet to check out the new culinary arts building. I've been talking about it all morning. I talk about a, a big investment by this community, a tight knit community here at Linwood High School. Thank you guys. Nice job. Round of applause. They can't hear, but hey, I'll give you a round of applause too. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> I'll send it back to you. Oh, they are great. It's, so good. Yeah, it's so fun to see these kids so involved. Were you in the band, Jasmine? Did you play an instrument? No, I wish I had. I was not very good. I played volleyball. Oh, okay. yeah. And basketball. Yeah. But I we was, learned uh, Jamie played the trumpet. I, I can't even say I was good at those. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Jasmine, thank you. Story number seven now is our class act series and focusing on high achieving schools. And it takes us to Linwood High School. And of course, it's not just about academics. KCAL's Jasmine Veal takes us inside Linwood's dance program. Okay, so we are here again on the campus of Linwood High School, home of the night, and we are now hanging out with the dance ensemble with their teacher, Brittany Washington, dancing since she was three years oh, old. Yes, and yes. now you went to this school. I did. I graduated from Linwood High School many years ago, but it's so rewarding to be able to come back and teach here. Tell me about this routine. 
Oh, so this is for their upcoming Fiestas Patrias event. Um, they're performing it next week, actually, so we're getting a little sneak peek here. It's just a fun, upbeat jazz routine. You have quite the resume, too, and to be back here teaching, but you dance for what big sports team? Oh, my goodness. I was on the Clippers. I danced for the Los Angeles Rams, so just a little bit of a little bit of everything. <laughs> and you went into the corporate world and then decided, uh, -uh I miss it. Oh, absolutely, yes. I was like, dance is my passion. Something is missing, and so it's, it's just a great feeling to be back. I love that. And you've been here how many years now at Linwood High? I'm in my ninth year here at Linwood. And I see trophies around the room. Uh, Award-winning team that you have done this year after year. Yes, yes, yes. We go to many competitions. We've won grand champions at the Sharp competition for so many years in a row. It's awesome. They, It's more than a team. It's a family, and it's they're just so dedicated. And we're going to pull one of the dancers here. I'm just so impressed by the size of this team. How many oh. students? Oh, 16. A team of 16. And they have to try out every year. But over 100 total. Oh, yes. In the dance program, there's about 140, and then these 16 are the, the, the core. <laughs> the cream of the crop, because you guys are putting in the work. Okay, Ariana, is that who we're talking to really quick? One of the dancers? Oh, you're behind me. I didn't even see you. You were, you were dancing and I know a little out of breath, but what year are you? I'm a senior. Okay, hey, this year. is it. This is your last year. And yeah. why do you love dance? I love dance because, oh, sorry. Um, it just gets me out of my comfort zone. Makes me happy. Surrounded by a whole bunch of people that I love. Yep. Oh my goodness. Um, it's like a small family. Yeah. Yeah. I love all my teammates. I like all my sisters and brothers. <laughs> are, and how many hours a week do you put in? Um, it's an everyday thing. Um, sometimes Saturdays. Oh my gosh. Competition. Of course, right. And again, what's your favorite dance? I was talking to some of your teammates. Oh, my favorite dance? To do. Is it the samba? Is it hip hop? What is it? Honestly, it's between hip hop and lyrical. You can really show it off. Yeah. And I wish I could stay here all day and see <laughs> see what you guys do. And you have a great teacher, Brittany. So, Ariana, yeah. thank you so much. We'll leave you with one last look. You guys are it's just kind of the, the stretch and the warm-ups. Yes. And the, yep, as, as they're working hard for that big performance next week here at Linwood High. Uh, I'm Jasmine Veal. I'll send it back to you with our amazing Class Act segment. I just keep hearing what a tight-knit community and all the school spirit that this high school has. Back to you.